Hi, I'm Sean Tuma. I'm going to talk with you today about why cybersecurity incidents are legal events. Now, I've been talking about this for a few years, and over the years I've gotten quite a bit of pushback from people because it's not as intuitive to say that a cybersecurity incident is a legal event as much as it is to say it's something like a, an IT event, which everybody understands because obviously you have the technical component of a breach, or to say it's something of a business or a PR event because it's obvious when you think about it that there are business repercussions and that the way you help alleviate those business repercussions are through positive public relations and things of that nature. But what I'm here to talk to you about today is why a cybersecurity incident is a legal event. And I'm going to frame this by asking you one simple question. If you were a business leader and your company had a cybersecurity incident, what are the first two most important things you would do as that company's leader? The first thing you would do is you would remediate the incident. You would do whatever was necessary to fix the problem but what is the second thing you would do? It's number two on this list. You would bury it. You would, you would make sure that word never got out. You would keep it as quiet as possible and ensure that you didn't cause any kind of panic or disruption among those who are either your customers or who you do business with, your employees, your workforce, what have you. But guess what? You cannot do that. You, as a business leader, cannot bury the news of a cybersecurity incident. You can't hide it and make it go away. Why? Because of legal obligations. You have legal obligations that say you must comply with federal law. You must comply with state law. You must comply with international obligations that your company may have agreed to. You must comply with local law. You must comply with your contractual agreements. All of these obligations require that you give notice of this event. And they require not only that you give the notice, but they, they demand and dictate how you must respond, how you must remediate the incident in some cases, to whom you must give notice, how quickly you must give these notices, and then, once you've gone through that part, then you have to deal with the legal repercussions. You have to deal with the lawsuits that come out of it. You have to deal with the uh, business disruption and the business disputes that come about. You have to deal with the regulation by regulatory agencies such as the FTC or the SEC. Then you have to deal with the shareholder derivative actions that seem to be spinning out of more and more of these cybersecurity events that we're seeing. So, when I tell you that cybersecurity incidents are as much of a legal event as they are an IT event or a business or PR event, does that make sense now?